Regular STPs let you move investments between mutual funds. However, they come with a limitation. You can't transfer between different asset management companies or AMCs. This is where STP on Coin by Zeroda is different. With Coin, you can transfer your investments not just between funds, but across different AMCs and even different fund categories. Let me explain this with a simple example. Imagine you've invested in a flexi cap fund from ABC AMC. Recently, you noticed that a mid cap fund from XYZ AMC is performing well and you want to move your investments there. Now, here's the problem. With regular STPs, you couldn't do this switch since ABC and XYZ are different AMCs. You could only move investments within the same AMC. But with Coin STP, you can easily transfer your investments from ABC's Flexi Cap Fund to XYZ's Mid Cap Fund. It doesn't matter if the AMCs are different. This means you're no longer restricted to one AMC. You can move investments between AMC. However, there's one important detail to remember. The fund you're transferring to must already be in your holdings. Let me explain how to set up STP. On the Coin app, tap on investments and select the fund from which you want to transfer the amount. Tap on more, then select STP, enter an STP name and confirm. In the order window, you can see the details such as units held and investment value. Enter the amount you want to transfer. Choose the frequency of the transfer and select a mandate. If you don't have a mandate set up yet, tap on create mandate. You will need an active UPI autopay or eNatch on coin to proceed. Next, select the mutual funds from your holdings where you want to transfer the investments. You can choose up to 5 mutual funds. Tap on done and then enter the transfer amount for each scheme. Now tap on create STP and then finally tap on create. Here's how you can set up STP on CoinWeb. Click on dashboard then mutual funds. Select the fund from which you want to transfer the amount. Click on options then create STP. Enter the name of the STP and click on confirm. In the order window, you can see the details such as units held and investment value. Enter the amount you want to transfer. Choose the frequency of the transfer and select a mandate. If you don't have a mandate set up yet, click on create mandate. You will need an active UPI autopay or eNatch on coin to proceed. Next, select the mutual funds from your holdings where you want to transfer the investments. You can choose up to 5 mutual funds. Click on done. Then enter the transfer amount for each scheme. Now click on create STP and then finally click on confirm. Here are a few important things for you to remember. Enable DDPI for a smoother STP experience as this saves you from having to authorize your holdings using CDSL TPIN. To learn how to enable DDPI, check out this link. Here's how the timeline works for your STP. Let's say your redemption order is triggered on March 10th. Assuming a one-day redemption timeline, it reaches your bank account on March 11th. What happens then? Once the amount is credited, the exchange sends a confirmation to the broker. If the confirmation is received before 2 pm, with UPI Autopay, your money is invested at March 12th's NAV. With eNatch, it's invested at March 13th's NAV. If the confirmation comes after 2 pm, with UPI Autopay, your money is invested at March 13th's NAV. And with eNatch, it's invested at March 14th's NAV. Now let me quickly explain how you can track and manage your STPs. On Coin App, tap on Investments, SIP, and then STP. Here you can modify, pause, resume, or delete STPs. On Coin Web, go to the STP tab. Here you can modify, pause, resume, or delete STPs. If you have any questions about using STPs on Coin, Feel free to leave a comment below and we will be happy to answer them. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Brokerage will not exceed SEBI prescribed limits.